Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live with Jeannie. I am Jeannie Nielsen, the card lady, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. So sorry I'm late. I had to take my dogs out. I haven't taken them out all afternoon. Um, I have two little dogs, so they don't go very long without going for a nice little walk. And Minnie was on a quest to find a grill. There was um, somebody cooking outside, and you should have seen her kind of nose up in the air looking for the source of the food. So that took me a little bit. And then came downstairs and I had to go back up and bribe them to keep them quiet. So fingers crossed this is going to work. So anyway, I have a fun, uh, fun, fun fold card for you again today. That seems to be what I've been doing lately. Um, it is here behind me and I'm, I've got it right there because I know you can't really see that. I'm going to show it to you down, but I wanted to see, show you how it looks when it's set up. So Hi, Judy. Hi, Roxanne. So glad to see you, Judy. I hope you are having a fabulous time. Anyway, I have to show you guys something. I put this on my personal page. These are my uh, peonies from my garden. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, so, so pretty. I have um, a bocce court, which is not in use. It's good for weeds, not good for bocce. Um, and it's lined the entire way with 18 peony plants. And they're gorgeous right now. And I kind of laughed and I said something to somebody that guaranteed we are going to get rain when my peonies bloom. I'm telling you, it is an absolute fact. As soon as my peonies come out, we haven't really seen the sun for two days now. There you go. There's my point. Anyway. They're lovely, and I'm hoping that for my ladies that come to class tonight, I'm going to be able to give them all a, uh, just a peony to take home, just so that they have a little happiness, too. Okay, so this card is really uh, fun. I'm going to flip down so you can do it. It's not really that difficult. All I did was I have a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of paper, and I just scored it a little bit differently. So instead of scoring it at five and a half, I have two score lines. And voila, all of a sudden the card looks very fancy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to flip down so you can see it. I have my June host code here. Um, you will notice that this card is using um, the starry sky, similar to what I'm wearing. Um, blueberry bushel didn't come back, but I can't say it enough. Starry sky is a close second. So I'm enjoying it a lot. Okay, so let me flip down so you can see it. I am using two stamp sets today. One is Bottled Happiness. Um, you're gonna see, this is just a fun card that I had, I enjoyed making. And I thought a little bit out of the box. And then I also have um, Stepping Stones. What a great stamp set. Stepping Stones is full of inspiration and I really, really enjoy it. In fact, next weekend is my retreat, uh, my one day retreat here in Linfield, Massachusetts. Um, I will be announcing a retreat in a box soon, but I'm just not ready for that yet. One step at a time, I have to get this retreat behind me first. So anyway, um, I am making the sampler using the um, Season of Chic uh, bundle and the Textured Chic paper. It's so gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I love putting little inspirational quotes on and I use the stamp set Stepping Stones. But I'll show you that when we flip down. Let's get to business. I'm so excited to see you. Okay, upside down, here we go. To start with, let me go lower. There's my June host code. And here's my card for today. Isn't it lovely? I am just, I, I really enjoy it. So um, the point of this, when I saw this um, bottled happiness stamp set. One of the things said, sending a little message. And one thing that I've always wanted to find, and of course on the Hallmark Channel, they find it all the time. I've never found it. I would love to find a bottle with a message in it. That's one thing that would be on my bucket list. I just love to find a bottle. And like I said, they always find it on Hallmark, but it's not, not gonna happen for me. Anyway. So when I saw this, I saw this cute idea, this cute, actually, I don't know if it's been done or not. I honestly did not um, look online to see if there are any um, cards using bottled happiness. I knew that this is what I wanted to do, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So anyway, 
let's start. I'm just going to show you. This is the inside. I'll show it to you some more in a little bit, but we have our four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Starry Sky cardstock. Now, I'm probably not going to be in the camera. There we go. It's really very simple. So four and a quarter by 11 is half a sheet of paper, um, landscape view. And then I have my Simply Scored scoring tool, my favorite scoreboard. I've said this before, I used to use something called a score pal, and I never gave this a shot. For about a year, I didn't even use this. I had it because people, uh, you know, I was selling it, but I never used it. Now, I cannot believe I never used it. Okay, let's get back to business here. One and a half inches is our first score line, and our second line is at seven inches. That's all you need this for, so let's move it out of the way. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is have your phone folder. I like to burnish my uh, score lines with a bone folder, and you'll remember that the bump goes on the inside, mountain in the middle. And... It's a perfect fit. I feel like I've done something like this um, before. Um, maybe just not this card. If you look at it, it's a perfect match right here in the center. Um, and then when I flip it up, you're gonna see that it's gonna stand very nicely. See, that's the whole point of this. It stands. So does that make sense? Okay, so let's put that there. Now, I've got a couple of things. I thought I have people coming at 6.30 for card class, so I can't really I spend time. I did a little bit of prep work, so let me put this aside. So first, we have our... Oh, do I have everything I need? Yes, I do. Okay. First, I have my basic white card stock. This is 3 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, just shy of 4 inches because my square right here is 4 by 4. Okay, no, that's not true because it's probably four and a quarter by four and a quarter now that I think about it because don't forget, it's a regular half size of a card. I've got my ruler there, but we're gonna, because it's gonna be perfectly centered, I have to trust that this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. This one here, the basic white, three and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Then I have a piece of the Horizon DSP. I don't know if you got the, D the Horizon DSP. I don't know if it's sold out yet. All I know is it was on low inventory before, and this is the most fabulous paper that besides the frost paper that they had a couple of years ago for winter, this is just one of the most fabulous papers that they have right now, I think. Great for scenes, and especially if you're a water person or a mountain person, there's so much you can do. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to my basic white piece. Now, I have to tell you, if you are on my mailing list, you're gonna get the tutorial for this all written out. You don't have to scribble down directions, you just have to be on my mailing list. Um, the recipe card comes out every Tuesday morning with a full picture of, of all the ingredients of the card and then anything, um, all my, my, I've started adding instructions so that you can read that too. Okay, we are going to center this in this bottom square here. So a little bit of glue again. So I'm, I've am i had most of the week off because I am busy getting ready for next week's one day retreat. And like I said, I will do retreat in a box. Registration is closed for this one day retreat now. I have 18 lovely ladies coming, I'm very excited. Um, I can't do two things at the same time. Okay, so that's glued on. Now, I've got a couple of pieces of paper here. Another basic white. This is a mat for some Knight of Navy. So this basic white is three and a quarter by four and five eighths. And like I said, if you're on my mailing list and it says sign up, that's not signing up for my team, even though I'd love to have you. You can message me if you wanna be part of my team, but it's really just for my newsletter. So you can get my weekly tutorials plus here, everything that's happening in my stamping studio here. Um, this navy is three and one eighth by four and a half inches. So it's one eighth inch less um, horizontally and vertically than the basic white. So I'm gonna put that here. And then I die cut 
a stitched rectangle already. I have to tell you though, I did something special with this and I'm gonna do it with you. Um, I don't know if you noticed here or not. See, it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna tell you what I did. And I think it's kind of ingenious. Um, I don't have a, a water um, wave thing. I guess I could have used the waves um, uh, stamp set, the wave of waves of inspiration stamp set, but I didn't. Um, so I had to come up with a way um, to add water lines. And I was thinking that I would use my chalk marker. Well, alas, my chalk marker is dry. So I made my own um, and I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, I've already done it on here to save some time. I used this stamp. Now, if you recognize this stamp, this is from the On the Horizon stamp set. Um, and this is supposed to be the planks or the wood grain for maybe like the fence. Um, maybe a boardwalk if you wanted, but for me it was a fence. Um, and I decided I was going to ink it with Versamark and then use some white embossing powder and I'd emboss it. So I've done that already right here. I don't know if you can see it, and maybe not too much, but it's not gonna necessarily show up white, except that there will be a little bit of emboss resist going on because that's what happens. But what I'm going to do, I've got my piece of paper here, my scrap paper. And what I'm gonna do, I've got a couple of blending brushes. I've got my blue brush and I've got my brown brush. I have here uh, crumb cake and, hmm, not Night of Navy, I wanna use Starry Sky. Night of Navy is gonna be for my sentiment. So we have that, let me move that out of the way. And all I'm going to do is start by, I think I'm gonna start with the sand first. So I'm gonna use crumb cake for the sand. I ink it up and then because I don't want it too concentrated, I always, I'm gonna do it this way. I always start off the paper because you know what? You end up with smudges like that and I don't want a big smudge mark like that. So I always start off the paper and then I add the color. I'd rather start off and add the color gradually than have it be too much and there's no way I can take it off. So it's easier to add than to take away, always, especially when it comes to ink. Okay. I don't need a whole lot. I just want it to look like sand. There we go. Okay, so that was crumb cake. My crumb cake looks a lot like soft suede. It's really crazy. The color, if I stamped with soft suede or used the ink, you would notice a difference, but it is quite dark. And isn't this funny? My label looks green. It looks more like um, pear pizzazz than pear pizzazz does. Okay, so I've got my blue blending brush and I'm going to add blue to both the sky and the water. Um, I'm thinking because I've already, see, look at how cool that is. Um, you can see a little bit of embossed resist going on already. And I'm gonna bring this down even to the sand. We want it to blend a little bit. I'm gonna bring it to the sand line. And I actually am gonna do it at the top too, but much lighter at the top. Because I do want it to look different and the water. I think that's pretty good. Okay, good, good. Okay, now, oh, you know what? I'm gonna set that aside. No, you know what I'm gonna do first? I want to stamp my sentiment. And my sentiment, because this is a message in a bottle, my sentiment is sending a little message. So I've got Night of Navy. I thought it, I wanted it a little bit darker than the starry sky. I have to stand up for this. I'm gonna put this down in this corner. Now I should ideally have a mat underneath me because this is a photopolymer stamp, but it didn't end up being too much of a problem. What I do notice, and I am gonna grab a mat, I have it right here. When I stamp my bottle, which is a solid one, it's gonna be much more noticeable that I don't have the photo pop, the uh, mat if I don't do that. Okay, let's put away the Night of Navy for a second. We'll use it again for a sentiment in a minute. And let's stamp our bottle. Now I had two ideas. I'm gonna try one. Let me try one just for the fun of it. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. 
but I wanted to see if it looked a little bit more like a bottle if I used my uh, Light Starry Sky Stamping Blend on some vellum. So I'm gonna just, the thing is, I don't know how fast this is gonna dry. It should dry pretty fast because it's still an alcohol marker, but. I have a backup plan. If I don't like this, it's okay. Absolutely okay. Um, because I can, you know what I should have? Let me see if this is gonna work. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna use this other outline stamp. I should have thought of this. You know, I have this stamp and I'm like, what would I use that for? Well, this is exactly what I would use that for. Um, let's see, where's my bottle stamp? I'm gonna use, it is still wet. Whew. Here, I'll just rid of the excess. Now I'm not sure which side I'm going to like better, but we're going to try, just for the fun of it, I'm going to try stamping my um, outline with Starry Sky here. And what I need to do is remove this one for just a second because I do want to make sure that I can see what I'm stamping. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I'm just trying it. I just decided that I wanted to try it, so let's try it. This is again, yeah, bribing the dogs doesn't always work, does it? These guys. Okay. Clean my stamp here. While I'm waiting for that to dry, what I should have is a dryer here. In case this isn't going to work, we are going to remove this again put this off to the side, and I'm gonna try stamping my bottle. So I'm gonna let that dry and see if I'm gonna like it. But in the meantime, I've got my Starry Sky. I've got a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. Can you believe I'm finally calling it basic white? I called it Whisper White for 13 years, and now I'm finally getting it. I wanted to show you. Now, when you are stamping, um, I always look at my punch and you can tell that the punch, it would work best if I was able to stamp right side up, right? Um, I want to show you just in case you all are ever in a bind when you are stamping and um, uh, punching something out, I'm going to show you um, how I do it if I did not think ahead. Now see, I'm using my uh, mat here for this solid image, but the other thing I do is I like to run my finger over the bottom of it, and that makes sure that I get a nice, complete image. So we've got that. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm gonna take my paper snips. I did this on purpose because obviously I'm not gonna be able to um, fit that in my punch. So what I do is I have a little bit of a post-it note. I use that post-it note like a flag, and then I use that to help me position my uh, paper so I can easily punch it out, and voila. So if you ever don't think ahead about what it, um, how to punch what direction, um, that's your tip. Um, this one is still wet. But let's try this anyway. Oh, I kind of like that. You know what? I think I might even like it. Um, I don't know how it's going to... Yeah, I've got to cut a little bit off the bottom. I'm not sure how it's going to look once it's punched out. So we're going we're gonna to try this. It is kind of cool, isn't it? Okay, let me set this aside and now let's make our message. I have a scrap of paper here and what I'm going to do with this scrap of paper is roll it to make my message. Okay, so what I decided to do was roll it around a pencil. So I'm gonna get a pencil here. Isn't this funny? This is leftover from my flyers that I gave to everybody about the starter kit and the join promotion. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't join my team in May and you missed out on this 
fabulous deal. Um, I really am. But in the meantime, I guess, hopefully, uh, you join during celebration now. Um, there's a really, really cool planner that you can per uh, get for free. Um, and in fact, for us, if we're buying it, it's $45. So it is quite the deal. And if you're a planner person like I am, you're going to love it. Um, I collect them. I don't necessarily use them. I collect them. If I, My upline, Marilyn, always laughs and says, you know, you're so much better when you're right on target, you know, when you're using your planner. I'm like, yep, I know. But half the time, I can't find it. And I have three different planners. So, okay. So I did a little glue dot because I want to hold that there in case it decides to spring loose. So this isn't a message that anybody is going to open. I'm going to take one more glue dot here. Um, I could use my take your pick tool, but I'm going to use my the other side of my take your pick tool in a minute. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use my uh, little whatever it is we had this years ago. It was a paper piercer and whatever. Okay, so I got my little message. Looks like a diploma almost. Perfect season for that, isn't it? I tried and I tried and I tried to tie a bow with this. Sorry, guys, we are tying a knot. I can't even tell you how many times I tried. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you like it and share it. Um, I, this one heart card is a little bit hard to send in the mail because it is going to be a little bulky, but I am going to do it. So if anybody, um, I'm going to pick one person next week to get one of my cards. So make sure you comment, even to say that you're watching live or the replay. And you know what I would love to know is where you guys are. Um, like I know... Oh, for instance, I know that Judy right now is in St. George, Utah, and having a fabulous time. Um, I know that Juanita lives in uh, California because I just sent her a card from one of my Facebook Lives a couple of weeks ago. But where are the rest of you guys from? Please uh, tell me. And even, like, if you're in California, is that Southern California, Northern California? Just so I know. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this a little bit with the pencil as well. Isn't that cool? And then what I'm going to do, see, it's got a nice little divot. I don't know if I'm going to end up using this or not. It's going to, you know, I'll use this for another card because it is a really, really cool idea and it definitely does look like glass. The problem is I need to pop this up. And you know what I'm going to use to pop it up are the bones of my Stampin' Dimensionals. I want to do, what I'm going to do is layer them on top of each other. So I'm going to cut this and layer them three high. Um, two was just not quite enough. And I'm going to put it near the bottom because at the top, I'm going to have my message. So I don't need that. Okay, I did that. Layer number two. Did that. And layer number three. Ta-da. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that makes it nice and bulky and high. And then what I'm going to do, move this out of my way, put this back where it belongs. I'm going to take a glue dot again. Okay, here's my glue dots. I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm going to put that here. I'll put another one near the neck of the bottle. And that's gonna hold my message in place. So we've got it nice and bulky. And I, I'm i gonna move this up because I wanted to show that it's tied. And you know what this message probably says? It probably says, join my team for the most fabulous uh, discount on Stampin' Up! products, a great environment. Um, and, oh, I've got a, oh, didn't want to do that. I'm teaming up with a couple of demonstrators. We are adding value to our team page um, by all posting a couple times a week on each other's teams. So another great reason. Plus my upline is very active. We have an event coming up June 18th. Um, okay. I'm going to put my bottle right there. Just like that. Isn't that so cool? I love it. Okay, now I promised that I was going to put a couple of gems, so let's do that. Um, where's my take your pick tool? I just had it. 
Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I could use the spatula side, and in fact, I guess I could have used my pokey tool because it is the other side of my spatula, but what I'm going to actually use is the putty side. And what I want to do is just take, you know, I used a couple of, um, I'm trying to save my brown ones. I have class tonight, and one of the cards uses the pebbles, and I'm out of pebbles. So I'm trying to save the brown ones for my class people. So although I would love to put a brown one there, I'm not going to. Okay, let's use the sea glass instead. Something a little different. I like the green. Isn't that so cool? Um, green, maybe a little bit of white. I think I need to get more putty. Because... Um, if you're ever out of putty, there are refills for this, so don't throw it away. Or don't throw away your take your pick tool. Um, buy a refill. Um, let's put a look. Since they like to always say do things in threes, let's put one at the bottom here. Looks more glassy upside down than that. Okay, so there we go. Almost done with this card. Um, I'm going to take some soft suede um, ink, and you know what I'm going to do with that is stamp some birds in the distance. Um, this bird stamp is from the Let's Set, Stale, Let's Set Sail stamp set. And I have to say, I was thinking that I could put a sailboat on here, but it would look way too out of proportion to my bottle. So I decided we're just going to stick with the bottle this time. So let's just stamp our birds. Ta-da! Okay, put that away. Actually, I'm going to save this for one more thing because I'm going to put this, let's hope I don't get it all over me. I'm going to, I'm going to put a putty refill on here when I finish. Um, let's add this stitched rectangle to my card front here. We're almost done. This is so exciting. I really love this card. And, um, Every time I, I'm doing a Facebook Live, I struggle thinking, are you guys going to like what I do? Um, do I have anything interesting to share? And then I come up with something every time. I don't know if you like it. I don't know if it's worth sharing, but I love sharing with you guys. Okay, we have to bring our card back in here. What I want to do, I really, if you want to be absolutely certain here, I would turn this over and make a little pencil mark, just like that, just so you don't go over the area with your adhesive. Um, you want to be able to open your card. So let's just do that. So this is how we're going to do it. And I'm just going to center this. Um, usually what I do is I look at, make sure all three sides are centered. And that usually does a pretty decent job. You can try and center four sides, but three sides works really well. Isn't that so cool? Um, I only wish it was... Ah, I wish the paper had a little bit of brown in it to kind of tie it all together. Maybe I should have used brown paper there. Okay, we have to stamp our inside, and I promised you more of the stepping stones. So you're going to think this is really cute, maybe too cute. Um, I have a starfish. Starfish is from the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. Um, living in Massachusetts, I live probably, the way the crow flies, I probably live three miles from uh, the shore, uh, from the beach. Um, unfortunately, no roads in Massachusetts are the way the crow flies, so I probably live a lot longer than that. But anyway, I decided to stamp a starfish since I'm using it in my card class tonight, and it was out anyway. <clears throat> and then I've got my Knight of Navy stamp pad, ink pad. <clears throat> and I am going to stamp, uh, you're going to think this is cute, um, I have a stamp, another one from Stepping Stones, and what this one says is, follow your own star. Now, that's good information for all of us. Well, I'm busy comparing myself to everybody with nursing, with stamping, with life. Um, I'm not always following my own star. So, working on that. Be careful, you see that I just did that. I really don't want to get that on my card, so I will wipe that off. Um, 
ideally this would be on one of my long blocks, but all of my long blocks are in use. Ideally also, I would have the cling label on it already. I don't because I took this out right before I went live. And the thing I have to tell you for this is that I am going to trust the block. I put it on the block so I could trust the block and I'm gonna trust the block. There you go. Isn't that so cute? Follow your own star. And it's a starfish. I know. Corny, corny. Okay, let's set, just add that to the inside. Move this out of the way. Hi. Oh, that's my other. So this one here, great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance. Um, Samuel Johnson was very insightful when he said that. Um, another starfish. Okay, so this one is my card that I want to put it in. I'm going to put that right inside. I'm not always the best about um, putting my insides. It's so funny. I bring my cards to work to show them what I'm working on because they're like, what did you make this week? What are you doing for class this week? And I bring my cards um, and none of them have insides. None of them have middles. And I can tell people till the cows come home that none of my cards have middles yet and they still open the card and look for the middle. So trying to get better about that. So here we go. There's my card. There we go. Isn't that so cute? And you can see the dimension on there just because I did that three levels high. I suppose I could have done it with just regular dimensionals rather than with the bones of the dimensionals. Um, the bones are the outside skeleton of the dimension pad. You know, all these, don't throw that away. Make sure you use them. And especially for narrow pieces, it's fabulous. I hope you love this. Voila, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try and, oh, oh hi, Anne. Anne, when we talk about me being uh, from close to the shore, she literally lives in Gloucester, right practically on the water. It's, it's just a block away from her, uh, not even, and it's so pretty there. Um, and yeah, she, I figured she would appreciate the corny. That's just right up her alley. And I'm going to see Anne tomorrow because she's helping me prep for a retreat tomorrow. Anyway, I am so glad to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you leave a comment so that you get one of these cards from me. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night and keep stamping. Bye.